yes, I'm sure you enjoyed that beautiful solo by Jimbo and Yebet. Guitarist and vocalist George Benson is recording a new album he calls A Tribute to Nat King Cole. It features the songs of Nat King Cole performed with an amazing 42-piece orchestra. According to this cat singer, a portion of all proceeds of the special offerings in the recording will be donated to the victims of Hurricane Sandy. No doubt, songs like Unforgettable and Mona Lisa should be among this expected compilation. The record label Concord Jazz announced its release schedule for the first quarter of 2013. New titles will be released from Hiromi, Pete Escovedo, Terry Lynn Carrington, El Clue, Patricia Barber. Amongst others, Terry Lynn's album, Money Jungle, Provocative in Blue, will be released on February 5. El Clue's album, TBD, is due for March 5th. Hiromi's latest album, Move, will be out same day without a clue on the 5th of March. Nominations for the 55th Annual Grammy Awards have been announced. The jazz-oriented category nominees include, for Best Improvised Jazz Solo, we have Crossroads by Ravi Coltrane, Hot House by Gary Button and Chick Corea, Alice in Wonderland by Chick Corea, J. Mack by Kenny Garrett, and Ode by Brad McDowell. For Best Jazz Vocal Album, we have Soul Shadows by Denise Donatelli, 1619 Broadway, The Brill Building Project by Kurt Elling, Life by Al Jarreau, The Book of Shea by Luciana Souza, and Radio Music Society by Esperanza Spaulding. For Best Latin Jazz Album, we have Flamenco Sketches by Chano Dominguez, Eurythmo by Claire Fisher Big Band, Much Best by Bobby Sanabria Big Band, Duos 3 by Lucinia Souza, and New Cuban Express by Manuel Valera, New Cuban Express. For Best Blues Album, we have 33 One Third by Shemenka Copeland, Locked Down by Dr. John, Let It Burn by Ruthie Foster, and Still I Rise by Heritage Blues Orchestra, and Bring It On Home by Joanne Osborne. The winners will be announced at the awards show in Los Angeles, California on February the 10th.